Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to be going over how to create a character creator system for your game. The first thing you want to do is head over to the Unreal Engine Marketplace and go to search products and look for character. You then want to go to sort by and sort by price low to high and you should see this free adventure character. This is the character that we're going to be using to make our character creator system. So you just click on it and download this and add this to your project. Feel free to use your own character if you have one. Once you've installed the character to your project, you should see this folder called man. So there's something that we want to do. So if we just open this folder and go to demo and then go to mesh, we want to delete the GE4 mannequin skeleton here. And here it's going to ask us to replace. So you just want to select this GE4 mannequin and click replace references and click OK. And then click save. This will just make it so that this character's mesh works with the default E4 mannequin skeleton. Once you've done that, you want to select the third person character. So I'm just gonna go to the blueprints folder and then third person character. And then you wanna head over to the viewport tab. Then you want to select the E4 mannequin and under skeletal mesh, you wanna look for SK man half body and just select this. And then you, you, with the selected, you want to go to Add Component and look for Skeletal Mesh. And just call this Legs. And then under the Skeletal Mesh, you want to look for Legs. So SK Man Legs. And they may look a bit weird and off. To fix that, we want to head over to the construction script. We then want to drag in our mesh and drag up here and look for Set, Master, Pose Component. Just right click here and break the link and plug this into new master bone pwn reference and then drag in the legs and plug this in here. And if you plug this in here and you go to the viewport and click compile, the leg should be normal. And now if we click play, we should be this character. So the next step is going to be making it so that we can add clothing to this character and remove them. So if I just select this character and then go to edit third person character, we then want to go to the components tab and look for add component. I'm going to look for skeletal mesh and just call this head. We're going to do this again. So look for click add component, look for skeletal mesh and call this one torso. We'll do this again. So look for add component, skeletal mesh. I'll call this trousers. And then we'll do this one more time. So if we click add component, look for skeletal mesh and call this feet. And then we just want to select all of them and drag them into the mesh so that they are a child. And then we just want to click these two arrows. And then we want to head over to the construction script. Just drag all of these in and connect them into target. And then click compile. Then if I head to the viewport and select them like the head, so if I select the skeletal mesh and look for balclava, because I know this comes with the balclava, if I select this, my character's head will start to wear a balclava. So we're going to be using these components to change what our character wears when we create our character customization screen. So now that we've done that, we can compile this and we're now going to create our character customization screen. So I'm just going to close this and go to my blueprints. Then we want to right click, look for user interface, widget blueprint, and call this customize character. Then we can double click and head inside here. And then we want to head over to the palette and look for vertical box and just drag this in the middle of the screen. And then you want to just click anchors and anchor this to the middle of the screen. And then if we look in the palette, we want to look for a horizontal box and just drag this inside of the vertical box. And then we want to look for button and drag two of these inside of the horizontal box. Again, I'm just going to select this first button, button 18, and click this padding. And on the right, I'm going to make the padding 1000. This will just make it so that there is a gap between them. And I'll call this first button left and I'll hold the second button right. Then we want to head over to the graph. Then we want to right click and look for get player character 
can drag off here and look for cast to third person character as this is the character that we're going to be playing as and then we're going to plug event construct so event construct is basically what will happen as soon as this ui is formed and then we're going to right click on here and click promote to variable and we can just call this our player character and we're doing this so that this ui will be able to communicate with the third person character blueprint so once we've got that we can click compile and then we want to head over to the third person character and go to the event graph and we're going to make some blueprints so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make it so that we can customize what's on our character's head so i'm going to right click and look for custom event add custom event and i'll call this switch head gear and then under the variable tabs i'm going to create a new variable and i want to call this head gear int and then under variable type we want to make this an integer then we're going to drag this in get and select get head in and drag off here and look for switch on int and connect this into here and click add pin twice so depending on what number this is when this event is fired it will depend what it does so the first thing we want to do is if head int is zero and this event is fired then we're going to drag in our head reference and drag off here and look for set skeletal mesh and we're going to set it to be the bow clavo and plug this into zero then i'm just going to copy this with Control c and then Control v and plug one into here although this time if the head gear int where if it is one and this event is called then we're going to make it so that the player wears nothing on their head so then i'm going to click compile and we're going to call this event using these buttons that we just made so i'm going to select the first one called left scroll down and go to on click and when this is clicked i'm going to drag in the player character reference that we just made drag off here and look for get head i forgot what i called it get head gear int and then i am going to decrement it so decrement means i'm going to minus whatever this number is by one then off of here i'm going to drag and look for clamp integer because i only want this to go so far so the minimum value that this will be will be zero and the maximum value this will be will be one because these are the two values that we have here and then i'm going to drag in my player character reference again and look for set head gear int and connect this into here and this into here and then i'm going to call the switch headgear event that i made and plug this into here and click compile and then if we head back to the designer we're going to do the same when we click the right button so i'm going to select here and then go on click and this code is going to be very similar so i'm just going to press ctrl c on all this and then ctrl v here although this time i'm going to delete this and instead of decrementing we're going to increment which means we're going to increase the value of this by one and i'll plug this into here this into here then we want to make sure that we can see this ui on our screen so i'm going to go to my third person character right click and go event begin play we are going to create a widget this widget is going to be the customized character that we just made then i'm going to drag off here and look for add to viewport and click compile and then another thing we want to do is just right click and get our player controller and drag off here and look for set show mouse cursor this is just make it so that we can see the player's mouse cursor and plug this into here and then click compile and then we can test this out so like at play we can see our two buttons and if i just click the left one we can see that it gives my character the balaclava if i click this one it sets it so that my character is wearing nothing so i'm going to cover how to do this um one more time with the 
character's torso. So if I go to the event graph, we're going to make a very similar event to make it so that we can change our character's torso. So I'm going to right click and look for add custom event and I'll call this switch torso and we're going to create a new variable and I'll call this torso int. We can drag this in, get torso and drag off here and look for switch on int. And I think they're like four or three torsos. So I'm going to add three pins for each torso. And then I'm going to drag in the torso, drag off here and look for set skeletal mesh. And when it's zero, I'm going to make it so the character is wearing a jacket. When it's one, I'll make it so that the character is wearing a pullover. And when it is two, I'll make it so that the character is wearing nothing. And then if I click compile, we want to head over to the customized character widget. And then we can just select this horizontal box, press control C and then press control V to make another one. And I can just scroll down, whoops, and select this button. And if we scroll down and go unclicked, and I'll do the same for the right one. I'll scroll down and go unclicked. We're going to create a very similar event. So we drag in our player character, get player character, and then we're going to get torso int this time. And then when we click the left button, we're going to decrement it. So look for decrement int. And then we are going to clamp the integer. Although this time, since there are a max of zero and two, we're going to make the max value two here. And then we are going to drag in our player character and set the torso integer to be this value. And then we will call our switch torso event and connect it in here. And now that we've made this, we can just copy this with control C and then control V. And then we can delete this. And this time when we click the right mouse button, we're going to increment the int, plug this into here and then value into here. And then this into set and then if we click compile if i close this and click play and i click these buttons we can see my character will change the clothing that they are wearing um we can make it so that these buttons have images so i created these two images i'm just going to drag them in so i've just dragged in the two images that i've created so i'm just going to right click on them and click sprite actions and apply paper 2d texture settings so I'm going to make my buttons have these images. So to do that, we can just select the button and then go to designer. I'll select um, both these buttons at the same time. And then under style, under normal, under the image, I'm going to select this left image that I made. And then you want to go to draw as and make this an image. And then I'm just going to do this for the hovered. I'll just do this for the right side. And that's how to make the buttons have custom images if you'd want to. And you just repeat this process for the character's legs or feet if you wanted to make it so you could customize his legs or feet. And that is how to create a character creator system inside of Unreal Engine. If you enjoyed, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.